Yo, Joe, what up, American Heroes? GSoto98 here, again with another video review for you guys. This time, um, I got a figure I got yesterday at Ralph's while I was uh, getting some groceries, and I went by their little toy aisle, and I saw the uh, G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra, Comrade Duke Hauser. This is a very nice figure. I was uh, s surprised when I opened him. First off, thank you to my good friend on YouTube, Oh Mr. Joker, who uh, recommended getting these figures for me. So thank you so much, uh, Oh Mr. Joker. Um, this is a very nice figure, I must say. Um, the detail, the sculpt really looks like Channing Tan Tan. I always forget his last name, but I know his first name's Channing. But um, I'm gonna be honest with you, all you viewers out there, I have not seen the film. I've not seen G.I. Joe: The Rise of Cobra. I I it's just the figures just look so badass. I have collected some G.I. Joe figures back in the day. Not the uh, I I don't remember getting any Duke or I don't remember but I got some back in the day and I think this figure these figures blow it away at my Ralph's I only had cash for one at the time I got there was Duke Neo Viper and Destro but you know what and uh, oh Mr. Joker recommended all those figures for me and I just said things that I only had money for one I just get the main character first, I said. Let's just get this guy first. So I got him. And I'm happy I got him because it is a very nice figure. And this is actually the Duke I wanted. So let's get on to the figure because I've been yapping for two minutes now. Um, it is very nice. Uh, let's get into the sculpt real quick, as always. As you can see. Ah, oh boy. As you can see, it really looks like Channing Tian, Tian or Channing. I'll just call him Channing. Really looks like him. Um, the outfit is um, camouflage, um, and the vest does remove. But in order to remove the vest, you have to pop his head off. Um, uh, I will. Before we go into further detail, I will look at his accessories comes with a small gun with like a scope right there now I uh, it, and it doesn't have a trigger for some reason I mean that's fine I'm not a fan of the shiny effect but oh well um, I wish it had a holster somewhere where you could like um, put it like that so he wasn't always having it on him but I, I just, that's all I wished for. And uh, he also comes with da, 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 a um, nice machine gun with also like a um, scope right there. Again, it's got the shiny effect that I'm not a fan of, but oh well. Very nice. It's good to have. Um, he also comes with kryptonite. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> or it's a popsicle so whichever you want it to be but it is very nice I know this is nanomites um, but I have not seen the movie but I have watched other reviews um, and I think I'm the first to comment this why would a GI Joe uh, come with nanomites I know this belongs to Cobra I just I just don't get that why would a GI Joe come with nanomites that's just, that's no biggie. He also comes with a very cool um, helmet with a scope, with a night vision scope, which you can put on him like so. I kind of like it off, but it's nice that they included that. I think that's a very nice accessory. He also comes with a backpack, which he's got a little hole right there, as you can see, and there's a... Um, there's a peg right there, and you just pop it on him like so, and there you go. And um, he also comes with a stand um, that says 
comrade, uh, no, Hauser, comrade, S, code name Duke, United States, classified. So that's it. And it's actually shaped like a dog tag. I thought that was pretty cool. Pretty cool. And there's a peg right there. He's got two holes on his feet. Uh, if I can get him on it, there you go. And he comes with, oh, we have to do this for the kids. <sighs> he comes with a missile, I mean a rocket launcher. And what does that hold for? He can fire a Cheeto. <laughs> he can fire a Cheeto. As you can see, he can fire a Cheeto. The rocket launcher is, tw is almost as tall as him. Oh my god. Now, I would have liked this. This could have actually been a very cool accessory. If they did this, take that out, and made this smaller so it could be in scale with Duke, and they could have done firing missile fine, but can you not make it look like a Cheeto? They could have made it maybe like an actual missile. I don't get why it has to be a Cheeto. But that is my only complaint. I, I, it's, it's cool. He can hold it fine. But that's it for accessories. Um, let me get his gun back on him. Now, let's get into a little detail before I put his accessories back. Let me get this. Let's have a look at the helmet. Very nicely detailed. Very nice. Oh, and this goes up and down, too. The scope can go up and down, but you can't really see his eyes when it's up. Um, now, I guess you can have a look at the kryptonite here. Very nicely detailed. I, I really think this is well detailed. And the missile. And the Cheeto. Very nice. And the stand. Very nicely detailed, I think. Guns. Really small. Okay. Um, and the backpack. It's got all the pouches and such. It's got um, all the very nice accessories. Uh, as for articulation, Duke's head can go 360 degrees, but because of the uh, vest tenders a bit. Oh, did I mention he's got, like, um, dirt on his hair? So it's that's pretty good effect. Arms can go 360 degrees as well as go in and out. Bend at the elbow. Rotate 360 degrees at the elbow. His wrist can go 360 degrees. His waist can go 360 degrees. Legs can go forward and back. In and out. Bend at the knee. Bend at two points at the knee. Uh, bend at the ankle. Rotate 360 degrees at the ankle. So he's got a great deal of possibility. Now... Overall thoughts on uh, Comrade Duke Hauser in his military outfit. Um, he gets an excellent 5 out of 5 for me. Details great, sculpts great, um, accessories are great too, really. Um, the guns and such. Um, and uh, he just gets a solid 5 out of 5. Um, I really, I really love this figure, and I'm happy I bought him. It was a little more expensive at Ralph's, but I didn't, pl I didn't want to really go to Target to get him, so I just got him for about nine bucks, ten bucks, two dollars over limit. But I'm, that's fine with me. But anyways, um, this is a very, very awesome figure. I. Recommend you uh, picking him up, and thank you, oh, Mr. Joker, for recommending this figure to me. So, G Soto 98, signing off, guys. See you on the next one.